Hey folks, Colin here from Something's Recording. Welcome back. Today we're doing three tips to get a thicker lead vocal. Now this is day three, oh, look at that, day three, three tips. So day three of our five day pro vocal mixing series. We are doing four days of tips and tricks to get better vocal mixes. And on day five on Friday, I'm gonna do a live vocal mix breakdown here on YouTube. And this is all in promotion of my new vocal mixing masterclass, which for this week only you can get for $15 off. At the end of the week, it's gonna go back up to normal price. So if you wanna check that out, if you wanna get that for $15 off, click the link in the description. You can check out and learn what that's all about. Now, onto the video. All right, so tip number one for getting a thicker lead vocal, I have covered before, I have a whole video about this, I will put the link in the description so you can go check that out, but it is the vocal thickening trick. So down here below our lead vocal, I have the vocal thickening trick. Now what this is, is the lead vocal, it's technically duplicated, one, two, three, four, five, six, so it's technically duplicated six times, and then put into three stereo pairs. So the first one is called pitch three here, and that one is pitched down three on the left and pitched up three on the right. And then we have our pitch six, which is up and down six, but flopped. So up six on the left and down six on the right, and then flopped one more time and pitched nine. So down nine and up nine on the right. Okay, so that's our vocal thickening trick. And then I have them all grouped together so I can move them as one. And all we do to thicken up our lead vocal a little bit is we tuck this under the lead vocal. So let me play you this by itself. You can hear what our three pitched uh, stereo pair sounds like. It's gonna sound a little crazy, a little wirely, and then I'll show you what it adds to our vocal. So it's a little phasey sounding, a little wirely. It's gonna give us a little bit of width because of that you know, phasiness and wireliness, that pitch shift that's going on. But we also get a little bit more low end energy, low mid energy from these three stereo pairs. We're stacking these vocals, pitch shifting them. That's gonna give us a little bit more low mid energy. So now what we'll do is we'll tuck this under the lead vocal and I'll pull them up in volume so you can hear what they do and I'll settle them back down. You can hear the subtle thickening effect it adds to our vocal. So we'll start without, then I'll click them in and pull them up and exaggerate them. Delve, it's only love till the day I hear her laughter again. It's only love cause delve, it's only love till the day It's only love, cause love, it's only love, till the day I hear her laughter again, it's only love. So obviously you can hear if I go too far, then it gets phasey sounding, it gets really wirely sounding, and it gets a little too wide, we kind of lose the emphasis to focus on our lead vocal track. It kind of becomes too much of that pitch shift effect. But when we settle it in to the right volume level underneath our lead vocal, we get that thickening effect. And you notice when I take it in and out, it adds some power, some force to our lead vocal to make it an element to be trifled with in the mix. So it gives it a little bit of power, a little bit of competition with the rest of the elements in the mix. Let me do that one more time. I'll A-B this before we move right along. So we'll start with this time, and then I'll take it out. You can hear the power that drains out, the thickness that comes out of our vocal without this. Delve, it's only love Till the day I hear her laughter again It's only love Cause delve, it's only love Till the day I hear her so that's our first tip for adding a little bit of thickness to your vocal. You can do the vocal thickening trick to give yourself a little bit of width, a little bit more power, and a little bit more thickness that you can add underneath your lead vocal. 
The next tip here for adding a little bit of thickness is actually using a slap delay. So the slap delay that I use traditionally in my mixes actually gives me a little bit of thickness because I run the drive at 100%. So let me solo up the slap delay here. We'll click it back on. And you can hear what this sounds like by itself before I put it underneath the lead vocal. So here's the distorted slap delay. So by distorting it like that, we get a lot of that low mid, that low end energy to come up underneath our vocal. And if you notice here, we're rolling our high cut back to 3K and we've got our low cut up at 250. So we're using our filters inside the delay to make sure we don't get a bunch of harshness from absolutely annihilating our vocal distortion. And we don't get weird low end that's gonna, you know, come compete and fight with our lead vocal and maybe give us weird phase issues underneath about 200, 250. So we just get that low end or that low mid energy, excuse me, that we want to give us a little bit of thickness underneath our vocal. So let me add in our vocal with that. And you can hear, I'll pull this up and down. You can hear the thickness it adds to our vocal. We'll start with out and then I'll add it in. Tell it's only love till the day It's only love, cause help, it's only love, till the day I hear her laughter again. It's only love, cause help, it's only love. Now while this is still in effect, it is still a delay, this this technique here, rather than the vocal thickening trick, adds a little bit more character. It exaggerates his vibe, his tone, and it puts a little bit more of that grit and that character into his voice. So while you can do your vocal thickening trick, and while I did do that on that vocal to get this vocal to get a little bit more thickness, using a slap delay, a distorted slap delay like, like, like this, will exaggerate the characteristics of your vocal, of the performance, and it'll give you a little bit more grit and a little bit more character uh, like it does on this vocal. Let me play it one more time and then we'll move on to our final tip here. Delve it's only love Till the day I hear her laughter again It's only love Cause delve it's only love So we get that thickness, we get a little bit of depth while also exaggerating his character and emphasizing his performance a little bit more. All right, now on to tip number three here. So tip number three is gonna be the most kind of tricky one of this one. And I mean that as um, it's not a traditional method on a vocal. So it's not like a slap delay or the vocal thickening trick, which you see done a lot. This is something that was specific to this mix. And it's something you can do if you encounter this. So we have this vocal here called Vox Thick. And what happened on this track is we had a really high note that the singer was hitting in head voice and the vocal got thin in that area. This is on top of the thickening trick and on top of the slap delay, it still got a little thin. So let me play you this without the Vox Thick track in and you can hear this, this note that he hits, it gets a little thin because he's hitting it in head voice or you know his upper chest voice, it's a higher note so he doesn't have that low end power coming up underneath this part, so take a listen here. Watch it hurts, make bleed. So he's getting up to this super high note, but we lose a little bit of that low end power and that low end weight because it's so high. So what we do is I duplicated this passage right here. So this is an exact duplication of the original passage he's singing. And then it's all the same processing that's on our lead vocal. Same things here, but what we're doing is we're isolating the low end area. So this EQ here at the end, we're just using between 100 and about 400 hertz. And then we have a, a notch here in the middle. So there's probably a ringing frequency that was popping out on the speakers here in the room. So take a listen to just the isolated 
low mid and low area on this part of the vocal. Yeah, so just on that first word, it looks like there was a, a, a little little frequency pop, popping out that didn't belong. So that's what that notch is doing. But you can hear, now it's a nice, even low end tone. We have this equalizer afterwards to boost a whole bunch of 200s. So that's where we're getting that low mid energy. So we isolate the frequency that we wanna exaggerate. We're pulling down anything that's too much, so that nasty 233 area, and then we're pulling up a little bit of that weight there. Well, actually a lot of that weight there at 200. So let me show you what this sounds like here. I'll put this EQ in and out on this part. So that makes that 200 area, that low mid weight there nice and even so we can pull that up underneath our vocal. So let me solo our vocal here. We'll take off all the effects. I'll play that phrase, oops, I went all the way back to the beginning. I'll play that phrase once for you without the Vox Thick in there, and then I'll play it again and add that Vox Thick track in. You can hear how we get that low end, that low mid weight consistency. And then we'll put it in the whole phrase. You can hear without it, it drops off, and with it, it stays consistent. So here's just this phrase. Make So we get that low mid weight, that low end weight, and now if we put that in the whole phrase, so we'll go back a little bit. Without it, what you'll hear is when he gets to this note, when he hits that high note, we lose a little bit of weight on our vocal from the phrases he was singing before. So that's why we're gonna add this in. So take a listen without, and then we'll do it again with. Their only words, watch it hurts, make my Their only words, watch it hurts, make my soul bleed, it's only love. So without it, that phrase sits a little bit out of place. It sounds thinner than the rest of the vocal phrases surrounding it. So we tuck this Vox Thick track underneath, which is just an isolation and a little bit of an exaggeration of that 200 hertz area on this vocal. We tuck that underneath to make that phrase sit evenly between the other phrases in the vocal. So it doesn't come from a normal phrase to hitting this high note and getting all thin to coming back. It just stays there the whole time, whether he goes up and hits this high note or stays even with the rest of the phrase, sits evenly with the rest of the tone on this vocal. That is it for this video. That is day three. Three tips for you on ways you can thicken up your lead vocal. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Leave any questions or comments you do have down below, and I will see you guys for day four.